welcome to this other Porsche demonstration video in which we will show you how to use the trail order with the camera option, but this time we will also use the non-weighting agent pills injector. This feature adds um, increase the quality of the results to this already very productive and robust fusion instrument. We're happy to host this new demonstration. I'm Jeremy Asselin, an application specialist for Melbourne Panalytical. And I am Chantal Odette, product manager. Before watching this video, we strongly suggest you to have a look at our previous Forge demonstration. The first one uh, demonstrates the basic configuration of Forge. We also have another one showing uh, the trail order option and the camera option. During this demonstration, we will prepare 12 uh, copper ore samples that are well known to stick to the platinum wear. Jeremy, could you explain us what is the no what are non-weighting agents and what are they used for? Of course. So non-weighting agents are releasing agents like bromide or iodide, so halide elements that will break the surface tension in the mold so as to help those discs to be released easier and to stick less. So that means that you have less chance of breaking the disc, even for very hard samples like copper that will tend to stick to the platinum wear. Depending on the sample we want to fuse, we can not need to use the non-weighting agents, but for some of them, we need them to improve the yield of the fusion. Usually we will add them either by pills, by integration into the flux itself, or by adding solutions to the mixture uh, in the crucibles. This is very clear, thank you. So now, are you ready to show us how to use the non-weighting injector pills with Forge? Yep. With the trade holding accessory, we will be putting the non-weighting agent tablets on top of the instrument in the holder accessory, here the cassette. So this one has six positions, and we'll be adding the tablets, which are made from ammonium iodide, into all the six positions where we have our crucibles and our samples. If we have fewer than six samples to fuse at one time, we can, of course, only load the activated positions. So I put the cassettes back here, and when I push it until the click, the tablet will fall into the loading position. So now I need to remove the cassette again, just to add the next six tablets for the next fusion program. If I want to do a second fusion program that needs to have those tablets in place. And then again, I put six tablet in the six positions. And I just need to put it back in place. And we're ready to start the two fusion program to have the tablet ready to go. So now we have our 12 pills, our 12 crucibles and 12 molds. And so we're ready to start the fusion cycles. So the screen is divided in two set position that describe the status of both batch and tray in the instrument. So here I will be selecting now two programs which incorporate uh, non-weighting agent injection step. Here for the copper ores, I load one for position one. And here, since we have the same sample, I will add the same program for the second batch, which is here on the top position. And now both of them are in waiting position. We have uh, ready crucibles. And if we start all, this temperature is stable. We have the right crucible, the cassettes in the right position. If we're ready to start, we will be starting both batch one and two. The handling mechanism works exactly the same way than we showed in the previous video with the tray loader option. So the first batch of crucible in mold is brought under the camera. So the camera makes sure that the crucible in molds are properly installed before bringing this first batch of samples into the furnace so the fusion process can start. During this time, the other batch, or the next batch of six crucible, is waiting. So, Jeremy, could you please explain us how the non-weighting agent injector mechanism works? Sure. So, in the heating chamber, we have six chimneys above all six crucibles. And when we have our cassettes here that hold the pill and that drop them in the cartridge, the cartridge will go moving on top of those 
uh, chimneys and drop all pills in the six positions or however many we put the tablets in. And this will be done at a time where we have uh, set it during the program, so a couple of minutes before the pouring step. We can add one or two pills depending on, on how sticky the sample is. Something that is very unique about this non-weighting agent injection mechanism is that it is located in front of the instrument and not over the eating chamber. It means that the pills are not affected by the heat coming from the chamber. So we avoid clogging of the injectors. As Jeremy explained, the pills are brought over the heating chamber only at the good moment, depending on the time we set up in the fusion program. We are now ready for the pouring of our first batch of six copper ore samples. Now that the first six samples are cooling, the next six samples are ready to be brought in the furnace. So remember at the beginning of the video, I added two sets of pills representing one for each program that we started in Forge. So now I don't need to add anything. The tray loader will dispense the pills at the right moment for the second program and the crucibles and the mold will go together at the beginning of the set. So as with all the tray loader programs, when the handling brings a second batch into the oven, it will first stop below the camera to act to confirm that all the molds are associated with a crucible. And now that here the fusion program is completed, we can have a look. And we can see that we have beautiful non-sticking copper ore discs. So now let me do a recap of the instrument status. So at first we loaded 12 samples with 12 non-weighting agent pills. The first batch of six samples is now ready and we have the glass disc. Now the second batch is in the furnace and the fusion cycle is in process. It means that we can now install the next batch of six crucibles and six pills. Jeremy is now installing the next six samples uh, on the instrument and he will also add the next six non-weighting agent pills in the carrier. So now that everything is ready, we just need to press start on this new batch. And whenever the second one comes out, during the cooling step, the batch three will be able to go into the furnace to be ready for fusion. This video gave you an overview of the operation of the tray loader option with the camera, with the non-weighting agent injectors. Pretty simple, as you can see. It simplifies the sample preparation by fusion process and contributes to the benefits of FORGE, which are high robustness, high productivity, and high quality analytical results. If you have any questions about FORGE and its options, please don't hesitate to contact us and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.